welcome to Woodset Central. As you know, if you've been following my videos, I've recently extended my layout. This means that my current Mimic panel is out of date, no longer represents the layout and the positioning of the points on the layout. So what I've done is I've asked Dave Fenton of Mega Points to produce a new Mimic panel for me. Uh, this is the old one and I'm going to replace this with the new one that Dave has sent me. So this is the new Mimic panel as it's uh, arrived this morning. It's still wrapped in polythene. I've had it made to the same size as the original Mimic panel so that it will fit the same case and uh, that way he uh, eliminated the need for ordering a new case from Dave so reducing the cost. I've already removed from the original Mimic panel the Mega Points controller and the two uh, extensions I have to that um, one, one which is for additional push buttons and the other for additional LEDs. The main controller allows you to control up to 24 devices and the extension boards allow a further 24, 24 point units bringing the total to 48. I have about 36 on the layout so this does me. I've removed the existing switches, LEDs and connecting wires. I'll use these to rewire the new board. This is a view of the interior of the board. I've just got uh, a couple of more cables to remove before I can take out the old Mimic panel and replace it with the new. So I've freed up these cables so I can now pop the old board out of the frame which I'm retaining to take the new Mimic panel. I'll lift this away. That's uh, now redundant and uh, we'll go on the scrapyard. So taking the new Mimic panel out of the polythene we can trial fit that into the frame. He's got his dimensions right. Should be a perfect fit. Which of course it is. Very nice indeed. And all remains then is to fix the bezel in place or back in place. And that actually secures the panel in place. It's laser cut so uh, it is a very snug and perfect fit as you can see. So there we are. That's the new panel, panel in place. So what remains now is to turn it over and start fitting the switches and LEDs into the panel. Now before I actually fit anything I have a diagram of the layout with the points marked upon it and their addresses that are used by the DCC system and I'm going to mark on the back of the Mimic panel the address numbers so that I know how to wire up the controller and the controller extension boards when it comes to fitting the switches and LEDs. So having numbered the individual points, the next job is to position the controller and the extension boards. So what I'm doing now is mounting the boards on small standoffs because I don't want to screw into the actual Mimic panel and I'll just glue the standoffs to the back of the panel. So I'm now going to fix the boards in place with a drop of thick Sino. I've now wired up the power leads and the network leads to the controller and the expansion boards and uh, tidied them up with some cable ties. Uh, next job is to start inserting the small switches. I'm 
now fixing the switches. I'm drilling 0.8 millimeter guide hole for the little screws. Just to give them a start. screw them home. Bit fiddly. Once the switch is in place I just lift the board and press it from behind to make sure it's free. Now I'll come back when uh, I've done a few more so all the switches are now in place and they've been tested. What I'm going to do now is to start wiring and I will test as I go along in groups of four. So I've now set up a test jig for the first four point motors. So if I press button one, first servo moves. Button two, the second servo moves. Button three, third servo and button four, the fourth servo. And as you can see the LEDs actually move to indicate the direction of the route as I do it. Okay I'm going to continue wiring in some more point motors now in blocks of four and uh, I'll catch up with you later. I'm now going to test the next block of four servos so that's five six seven and eight and they're all working nicely as expected it's ten o'clock in the evening and the board is now fully wired I'll turn it over you can have a look at the wiring so that's the wiring for 36 turnouts in a fairly compact uh, case. No soldering, just plugs together. Excellent system. Recommended.